Okay, so you're ready to dive in and try this restorative yoga practice, but you don't have the props, all the fancy props that you see in the videos. And guess what? No problem. That's what I'm gonna show you today. There are so many people that do this practice without the fancy props, and at least that's a good way to start until you even know if you want to invest in the more fancy um, props. Anyway, I do have another video that I do show the props that I use in my home practice and at the studio, and I can walk you through all of that and the prices and all of that. That's in another video. I'm gonna link it at the end in case you're curious. But for today, we're talking about what we can use at home so you can get started practicing right away without needing any special props. I'm Janet, if you haven't met me, and I teach uh, yoga practices to help release stress to build resilience and to find peace. All right, so let's dive in. The first thing that you'll need for a restorative yoga practice, because really restorative yoga is all about the props. The props are what help us to really uh, feel supported and to let the body release. So bolsters, and like I mentioned, this is what I use. These are big cushions that I've had on my bed. I don't have these on my bed anymore, but I do keep them around for restorative yoga and also um, I just put them out in my living room and my, when my grown kids come over and the grandkids come over, this gives them something to um, sit on. But you'll notice these are just, they're thick. You know, they've, they've got some support to them and that's what you're looking for. When I would do restorative yoga with them, I would uh, prop two up at a time and you can see they're nice and thick. Now you could use a couch cushion, you could use a really firm bed pillow. You want something firm and you know, that's gonna hold you up. That's going to give you that support that you want. You're going to be able to be comfortable and relax right into that. So just look around your house, see what you have there. That's the bolster. The next thing that you're going to want is blankets. Blankets are probably my favorite restorative yoga props. I use lots of blankets. You're going to want at least three, maybe more. You're going to want at least two that are the same or very similar because we use the blankets, um, Maybe if you prop your left side and you prop your right side, you don't want to be just uneven. You don't want to have one texture on your left hand and one texture on your right hand. That's going to keep you from being able to really release into the pose and get the full benefit out of the practice. So that's the biggest thing I would suggest is having two blankets that are either the same or very similar and then whatever else. So for the size of the blanket, a typical yoga blanket is, is similar to like an Indian blanket you know, with the Indian patterns and they have a little, uh, what are those, <laughs> the little frizzles? <laughs> I can't think of the name for it. Um, anyway, they're about 76 inches long by 54 inches wide. I'm gonna show you these blankets. The, this is just fleece and I bought these because I needed so many and so this was the most inexpensive way to go. And so if you have fleece blankets around your house, I actually bought these at Joann's. I bought um, a few bolts of fabric when it was 50% off. It's just the, the fleece and I, it's 64 inches wide. And then I cut them in one and a half yards. So that's what size these are. And I'll write these dimensions down in the comments in the description so you can see there. So just look around your house and then have at least three, maybe even more, because we might just use them for pillows and for all kinds of things. The next thing that we use in restorative yoga are blocks, generic blocks. If you don't have blocks, there are lots of things you can do. One of my favorite things to do, and this is why you're gonna want extra blankets, is because, so the blocks, we use them to prop things mostly. Like we might prop them underneath something like this to give it a little height, or we use them maybe to prop the body maybe to prop underneath your knees for support. And so you can use your blankets for that. You can just roll your blanket up and prop it underneath your knees or wherever it's gonna be. And actually feel how comfortable that is. You might even wanna put two blankets and roll them up or two blankets to, to prop that uh, bolster or cushion up. So lots of blankets. Just run around your house and see what you can find. Uh, sometimes we do use the blocks to, uh, you know, for some kind of balance or to hold on to. For that, you can use shoe boxes because the blankets wouldn't work super good for that. So I have these shoe boxes. It's hard to find shoe boxes that are, the, I mean, well, it's not. I mean, what I'm trying to say is you're gonna want shoe boxes that are very similar. You don't want a short one and a big one, obviously. These aren't exactly the same size, but they're okay. And really they're sturdy enough. 
they're sturdy enough. I mean, I wouldn't try to stand on them or anything like that, but they're sturdy enough for anything that you would need. So those are some options. Another prop that we use in yoga and in restorative yoga is a strap. So we use a strap for things like, you know, stretching the legs or maybe we might want to, you know, prop ourselves up to, to uh, keep us supported. This strap I actually got at Walmart for $4. So that might be an option. If not, no problem. If you have a belt around your house, a belt works totally fine. Also, if you have a bathrobe, the little uh, belt that goes around the bathrobe, that can work really good. But honestly, one of the things that I used a lot before I had a strap, again, I used my blanket. And sometimes I still do this, you'll see in a class, I, instead of using the straps, I like to use the blanket because you can take the blanket and do things like put your foot in there. And you can still, whoops, get the stretch, but look how cozy that is. It's just, I mean, that's what restorative yoga is. It's really cozy yoga too. So it just can feel really nice. So you can use a blanket. All right, that was the strap. One more prop, the last prop that we have is the eye pillow. For an eye pillow, use a washcloth. I prefer a really soft washcloth. I like these microfiber washcloths. I actually bought, um, I bought some a while back, uh, just microfiber wash washcloths and I gave them to all my, my daughter and daughter-in-laws and all my friends for Mother's Day because they're just so soft. They're the best thing to wash your face with but they also work really awesome as eye covers, eye pillows, uh, just to cover your eyes. If you don't even have a cloth near you, again, use your blanket, just have a blanket handy, throw part of the blanket over your eyes. So that's our props. Be sure you go and you subscribe to this channel so that you can practice with me. And I hope I will see you there soon. Okay, good luck.